Love is the most important thing we have. You don't seem very happy that your wedding didn't happen. <laughs> well, it did happen. I hate Nazis. It just didn't happen the way that I had planned for it to happen. <laughs> and some very lovely friends of ours joined our wedding. And, and got married before you. And got married before us and had a wedding after us, too, on their own show. <laughs> um, but Iris is handling it with grace. Best wedding ever. She's got her man. That's really the only thing she's ever cared about is Barry and getting to spend the rest of her life with him in whatever form that looks like, even if it was on the side of the road mm -hmm. um, with, you know, grass rings. Yeah. yeah. She's just happy that, that they got married and that they will spend the rest of their lives together. It seems like there's going to be some trouble in paradise here for the rest of the season. Is that accurate? Uh, trouble in paradise? In what way? I mean, my man's on trial. He's got some issues going on. He's got some issues. But as far as him and Iris, um, as far as I know, they're okay. Um, they may have some relationship issues in terms of them both working at Star Labs and mm -hmm. her being a leader. We'll see about that. But You've got some issues too. Yes. <laughs> Multiple personalities. What can you tell us about Killer Frost uh, in the back half of the season? Um, well, we're still filming the back half of the season. You know, we're on episode 15 of 23 right now, so there's still a ways to go. So I can't tell you too much, mostly because I don't know it. Um, but, you know, I think it's interesting to still see the struggle between Killer Frost and Caitlyn and who's going to win out and, you know, what K Killer Frost's motives are and is she going to play with the nice guys or the bad guys? All right. What's the plan? Let's talk about the hashtag that people are talking about, Avalanche. What, what's oh, happening with Sarah and like, Ava. Avalanche. Oh. Avalanche, Avalanche. It just, it's a great ship name, whoever Avalanche thought of is that. a great name, yes. The costumes are ridiculous. Yeah, you look good. It's pretty wild. We just actually shot some really, two really great scenes, and I love working with uh, Jess McCallan, the actress that plays Ava, and we have a lot of fun together, and it's it's been cool getting Sarah a, like a steady, you know, a steady girl to, you know, Thanks. yeah, maybe a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know what we call it yet, but it's, a um, it's it's nice to see Sarah settle down a little bit. I mean, I think the stakes are so high in genre, film, and TV. I mean, it's often the end of the world that we're talking about. Um, so the roles for women to step up to are really deep and really important, you know? As an actor, it's really amazing to be a part of something like that, to be a character that has to help save the world against an alien invasion. I mean, that's kind of badass. There's been a lot where women are just plot devices to push forward men's stories and we are really getting on our shows where it's a woman's, uh, we're telling women's story and we're seeing women as pr like primary characters and they're having their own plots, not just there to support the males. But it's, it's great to be able to do all of the action stuff, to be able to be a leader. Give me a genre character that you guys are really into right now. Um, could be on your, on your show or could be on one of the other shows. Mm. Mm. Wow, what? Wonder uh, Woman. Yeah, is that genre? Like a genre? I mean, I guess Game of Thrones, like more fantasy. Like, yeah. Genre? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a genre like dragon, crazy. like dragons, yeah. okay. like where it's just it's so like crazy. Like it's just uh, that to me is which character? Khaleesi, obviously. <laughs> There's a lot of great characters. Yeah, but yeah. If you go that I, way, and I do yeah. love Cersei because she's just the baddest bitch there ever yeah. was. Can I say that? <laughs> sure, you do can. It. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It does sound. yeah. Talk about a great female villain. Like that is a woman that has just embraced her villainous side. But you also see why she is the way she is. What a fully developed character. That's why I love Game of Thrones.